Hi, and welcome to this edition of Everything Home. I'm your host, Brian Domingo. Today on our show, we're going to do a very simple project that has a great visual effect on your house. We're going to be installing a dimmer switch. Now, keep in mind when you're picking out your dimmer switch, you're going to want to get one that works with the type of bulb that you have in that location. If you're using an incandescent bulb, there's a specific type of dimmer switch that you can use with incandescent bulbs. If you have a CFL, now you're going to need to have a specific type of CFL that works with a dimmer switch and the appropriate dimmer switch to work with that CFL. Now they all hook up about the same, so the process of hooking it up to the electrical is going to be the same whether it's for a CFL or an incandescent bulb. The great thing about this project is it only requires a minimum amount of tools. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a utility knife, and of course the dimmer switch itself. First thing we're going to want to do with this project is turn off the electricity to the switch itself at the main panel of the house. Let's go over there and get that started right now. The first and most important thing you have to do in this project is turn the electricity off to the light switch that we're going to be replacing. To do this you want to locate your main circuit breaker box for your house. Open it up and inside you're going to find the different breakers for different outlets in your house. Got okay, some for the AC, the range, the washer dryer, and then we have some labeled for lights and plugs. Now the best way to find the one that works for that light switch that we're going to be replacing is to turn that light switch on, come in here and switch off the circuit breaker and then go back out and, and check and see if that light's off. If the light's off then you know you found the, the, the proper circuit breaker and then you can go back out there and start uh, taking out the old one. Now that the power's off, the first thing we're going to need to do is remove the faceplate. I like to take my utility knife and score around the edge. This way if it's been painted or caulked, then when you go to remove the faceplate, it doesn't pull off the sheetrock behind it. Next, you're going to want to move all of the screws. Once you have all the screws off, you can just pry off the plate. Next thing you're going to want to do is remove the switch itself. Now that you have the switch out, you can see the three different connections. You have the common ground, you have the power in, and then the power out, which goes to the light. First thing we're going to want to do is remove the common ground wire. Typically that's held in by a screw that either you can use a flathead or a Phillips. You're going to loosen that up. And a lot of times they wrap that wire around pretty tight so you're going to have to spread apart the wire a little bit. Once you get that spread apart it should slide right off. Now that you have the common ground off we're going to do the power out which goes to the light that's held in by a little clamp inside there. So you're going to push in with the flathead screwdriver. It's going to release the clamp. You can move that wire out of the way. Then we're going to do the power in wire. Same way. Slide that screwdriver in and then release it. Now that you have that one out, we're going to put in the brand new dimmer switch. This one has a switch that has a slide control that turns the light either dim or bright. Now it has the same kind of slip connections on this one and then you have your common ground which is held by a screw. First thing we're going to do is reconnect the common ground. So you're going to want to loop that around. Once you get that in place you're going to take a Phillips screwdriver and tighten that down. Once that's tight, we're going to want to put in the power in and then the power out. First thing we're going to do is put in the power in. It's going to just slide right in there. You want to make sure it's all the way in and that the insulation is touching the back cover so you don't have any exposed wires. The next thing you're going to do is slide in the power out in the same manner. You want to push it in nice and tight, again so that insulation touches the back so you don't have any exposed wires. Now that you have all the wires connected, you're going to want to put the switch back in place. Tighten down the screws that hold that. Before you tighten them up, you want to make sure that it's in line with the plate that's going to go on. And then you're going to put the plate on. Screw that back into place. 
And then once you've got that in place, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back over to the service panel and we're going to turn back on the power for that breaker. Once you have that power back on, you can go back over to the switch, turn it on, and then you have the slide control that will dim it down or bring the light all the way bright.